Hi, I'm Lorna Radford, Managing Director of Enkels Developments and Technical Advisor for Inc Cosmetics Global, Asia and Korea. Hi, I'm Ro uh, Director of Raw Cosmetics and R&D Tour Leader for Inc Cosmetics Asia and Global. Welcome to the Formulation Friday series brought to you by Inc Cosmetics Asia. We have a range of topics to present you with, from oily skin and pores to dry hair, and we've selected some brilliant ingredients to support your targeted formulations. We'll be using this series to take a look at the latest ingredients and demonstrate how these can be used in different formulations for a variety of functions. We'll be taking you through the formulation process, sharing hints and tips on how to get the most out of them, as well as the technology that can help along the way. The first topic in our series is urban pollution, which is characterised by the contamination of both indoor and outdoor environments. So when we consider pollution, our minds usually shift towards air pollution, which is mainly chemical, mostly from industry, vehicle exhaust, cigarette smoke, but also paint and pesticides. However, we're living in a digital age and are constantly exposed to radiation from mobile phones and other screen devices, which is now more commonly known as electric pollution or e-pollution. It introduces biologically toxic frequencies into our environment and has been linked with skin and health issues. Pollution is capable of penetrating deeper layers of the epidermis, causing inflammation, dehydration, and can lead to the loss of elasticity and firmness, thus increasing the likelihood of prematurely aged skin. Previously, UV was considered to be the most damaging radiation of the solar spectrum. However, research is emerging which shows that the exposure of infrared and blue light also results in significant damage. IR causes dysfunction in our cells and tissues and induces the production of free radicals on the skin. Blue light inhibits the production of melatonin, the hormone that regulates the body's circadian rhythm or our body's natural clock. Excessive use of screen devices, especially before bedtime, can lead to changes in sleeping patterns and result in a reduced quality of sleep, whilst also contributing to photo-aging of the skin. We know and appreciate the importance of SPF products, but whilst they prolong the time that we can spend in the sun by blocking and filtering UVA and UVB rays, they don't prevent the damage induced by IR or blue light. Let's take a look at some of the ingredients you may consider adding into your formulations to protect consumers from this type of damage. The first ingredient to be featured in today's video is InfraGuard from Abel Biochemistry. The science is based on mitochondria, as they're the powerhouses of our cells. IR is absorbed by the mitochondria and disturbs the production of energy, which is essential for the proper functioning of our cells and tissues. Blue light, known as high energy visible light from computer screens and devices, causes oxidative damage and contributes to the photo aging of the skin by delaying barrier recovery, in addition to disrupting the sleep cycle. InfraGuard combines tyrotannins, which are a powerful antioxidant, with sunflower sprouts in order to efficiently protect the skin against harmful effects of infrared as well as blue light. Here are the main points on why you should incorporate InfraGuard into your formulations. It blocks IR and blue light induced free radical formation, protects mitochondrial DNA, inhibits light induced skin aging, and prevents the loss of skin density upon exposure. Let's go to Lorna in the lab for more on this ingredient. InfraGuard comes supplied as either a liquid grade or a powder grade. We have the liquid grade here, which has an orange tint to it and is preserved with 1% phenoxyethanol. Or alternatively, if you want to go preservative free, the powder grade doesn't have any added preservatives and comes supplied as an off-white powder. The powder has double the concentration of active matter as the liquid grade. So the liquid grade was tested in vivo at 2% and we'd recommend using that level. But if you're working with the powder grade, you'd only need to use 1% to have the same amount of active matter. The powder dissolves very readily into deionized water. So here I've just mixed some water with 1% of the powder grade and it went in very readily with spatula stirring. Mabel Biochemistry recommends adding InfraGuard in the cool down phase of emulsions and keeping the pH below 7.5. And they also recommend avoiding the use of strong acids and bases with this material. 
With the growing concerns surrounding digital ageing, our internal repair system is not fast enough to offset the overexposure to blue light. So there's a risk that some cells might become damaged and their DNA becomes mutated. The accumulation of mutated DNA is the main source of photo and digital ageing. Our next ingredient, Algactive Genofix Day by Green Altec, takes us back 4,000 million years ago to a stark and hostile environment where life began with cyanobacteria. These extraordinary microorganisms invented photosynthesis and were able to thrive under the most challenging conditions by developing radiation repair mechanisms. Cyanobacteria are able to repair DNA whilst protecting themselves against UV radiation. Genofix Day contains two synergistic enzymes that combat the signs of digital and photo aging by harnessing the power of blue light. So we'll fast forward to our current decade where the environment is still sometimes quite hostile and can challenge and weaken our skin barrier continuously. Air pollution like smog, CO2 emissions and cigarette smoke can cause allergies, inflammation and premature aging. We actually have another ingredient from Green Altec which works nicely with Genofix Day. Algactive Urban Skin strengthens the skin barrier, cements the stratum corneum, soothes the skin against chemical aggressors and defends skin from urban dust. Here are the main points on why you should incorporate Genofix Day and Urban Skin into your formulations. They combat digital and photo aging, boost firmness and reduce wrinkles, shield skin from urban pollution, strengthen the skin barrier, and soothe skin against chemical aggressors. Our fact of Genofix Day comes supplied as either a liquid or a powder. I've got the powder grade here and you can see it's a blue crystalline solid and it's 10 times the concentration of the liquid grade. So the supplier actually recommends rehydrating one part powder with nine parts water when working with it in formulations. I'm just about to rehydrate some Algactive Genofix Day. I'm adding the powder to the water in a one to nine ratio as recommended by the supplier. And we'll just leave it here stirring at around 300 to 500 RPM for several minutes until the powder fully dissolves. You can then use this liquid in your formulations. The supplier recommends using the liquid within five hours of uh, when the solution is freshly made. The liquid grade was tested in vivo at 2%, so we would recommend using either 2% of the liquid grade or 0.2% of the powder grade. Algactive Genofix Day uses liposome technology, so it can be incompatible with surfactants above their critical micelle concentration, which is worth bearing in mind when formulating. The supplier recommends adding it to the cool down phase of emulsions, keeping the pH between four and eight, and avoiding strong agitation that would cause foam, as that can actually disrupt the liposome structure. Algactive Urban Skin is an oil soluble active that's been tested in vivo at 1%. You can see it has a slight yellow tint to it, and it's stable for several hours up to 80 degrees, so you can add it to your hot oil phase in a hot process emulsion. Green Altec do recommend adding an antioxidant for optimal product and colour stability, and they actually recommend using 0.2% tocopherol when working with this material. Carotolino is our next ingredient by Lipoid Cosmetic, and as the name suggests, it's based on a combination of carrot derivatives, so carrot root extract, carrot seed oil, and beta carotene. Carotenoids are present in all green plants and have been found to perform a dual functionality, so absorbing blue light and protecting against oxidative stress by neutralising reactive oxygen species. The mechanism can be transferred to humans as carotenoids behave similarly in skin cells. Healthy looking, vibrant skin requires an adequate level of carotenoids, which would usually be obtained from the fruits and vegetables we consume. However, another element of this ingredient is that we can now topically apply carotenoids to balance pale greenish skin tones. Here are the main points on why you should incorporate carotolino in your formulations. It absorbs blue light, neutralizes blue light induced oxidative stress and improves skin tone. Due to its high carotenoid content, carotolino has a very intense red to orange color. 
And if you're worried at all of what that looks like in a formulation, I've taken 2% here, which is the recommended level, and diluted it in MCT oil. And you can see it does impart a yellow to orange colour, which may or may not be wanted in your formulation. Caratolino has been shown to be stable for up to four hours, up to 80 degrees. So in terms of formulating, you can add it to the oil phase of the hot process emulsion. IBR Erbiotech by IFF Lucas Mayer is an aqueous extract of Inula Helenium, commonly known as a wild sunflower. It provides a unique solution for our modern day lifestyles. It has shown its great potential in regulating gene expression involved in optimal skin barrier function and inflammation response, whilst demonstrating effective protection against blue light induced oxidative stress. Here are the main points on why you should incorporate IBR Herbiotech in your formulations. It promotes and strengthens the skin barrier, reduces blue light induced oxidative stress and delays the signs of premature aging. IBR Herbiotech is a water soluble active that comes supplied as a liquid form with slight brown tint to it. It's been tested ex vivo and in vivo at 1%. It's stable between pH 4 and 8, and the supplier would recommend adding it to the cool down phase of emulsions below 40 degrees. Having said that, they have actually tested that it is stable for up to two hours at 90 degrees, so if you did need to add it during a hot process, it should be okay. Thank you for joining us for this week's Formulation Friday. We hope you enjoyed the video and that you'll join us again when we come back with new formulation challenges. You can learn more about these ingredients at the In Cosmetics Formulation Lab with Lorna or join me on an R&D tour live on the show floor with advice from the industry's most renowned experts you won't want to miss out. Visit the In Cosmetics website linked below to find out more.